What's going on, you guys? JT here, Precision Boxing, and I'm here with Nate Bauer, Nate Bauer Fitness. And something I want to go over today is your defense and one position that you must master for your defense to have the most effect in terms of power and control in a lot of situations. Most of the time, we're looking at active defense as ideal. You're catching punches, blocking punches, or you're mixing up the catching with your head movement sort of staying active, controlling the punches. But one position that you have to master is the one where you can cover the most area that allows you to have the minimal movement. We're gonna do it for sort of a peekaboo style and we're also gonna do it for a Philly Shell style. Now, in general, when beginners cover up, they often have their hands up here and it's easy to fit the gloves through up the middle. Or a lot of beginners, when they get in trouble with pressure, they cover up here and the shots come around. So what you wanna do is you wanna find that position in between. And I'm gonna show you without the gloves. You wanna take your hand, open your hand, and you wanna put the base of this base of your palm right on your cheek. And then you wanna take your hand here and cup your head so you can see through with your eyes so your hand is open. This is cupped right up against your head. Next, you want to take your elbows and you want to bring them in front of your body, sort of like you're kind of, sort of like you're doing a little crunch. You bring the elbows to your center line here. Okay, now see what's very important is the wrist. I don't want this, because then a glove can fit through. So here, just to show you with the gloves on, both hands, I'm going to be here like this. Not here and not here blocking my vision. I want to cup right here, wrist in in between. Now, if I work it with Nate, this allows me to have to move minimally and it's very effective if I'm gonna walk somebody down or if I'm on the ropes in trouble and I still wanna maximize my vision and have minimal effort in my defense. So here, let's say Nate just throws some straight punches to try to fit the hands through the guard. Here I am. So already, boom. And let's move over here so you can see what he's seeing a little bit more. I, I can see everything through this, here. And even if he punches right up at my eyes. So that's already dealing with straight punches really well. Does not mean that you're gonna be stuck like this. I can still be a little bit active, make small movements. Two fighters you wanna watch, and check this out. Winky Wright, one of the best. Also, Bernard Hopkins, in the earlier rounds of his fights. You usually watch him in the early rounds, he's here, and then later when he gets comfortable, he drops into a Philly shell. So here I am again, elbows in. I wanna cover enough room so he can't get his hands between. I wanna brace the base of my hand against my cheek, and I wanna see through this little heart shape that I'm making. So here we go. Nate's gonna work me with different punches. Just gonna show you as a demonstration. Time. Now, even if I'm wrong with some of my guesses, let's say a couple times when he went around for the hook and I thought he was throwing a straight punch, I didn't have to make much effort and it didn't really cost me that big because I was covered on both sides. The only real openings here that you gotta watch when you're setting up this position is low to the body. But because you have most things covered, it's easy to adapt for that. So let's say I'm here and he's throwing and then he goes low to the body. Then I can still keep my position and see what's going on. Now, another thing that I like about this position is it helps if I'm in trouble against the ropes, but it also helps if I'm trying to walk my opponent down and I don't want to spend a lot of energy trying to move my head or trying to catch punches. So if I'm out here and I'm just trying to walk my opponent down, I can just work this and then when I'm ready, I can start to zip in. So here I go, he's moving back and I'm just trying to walk him down. And then I can go with my head movement or something when I'm ready. So you would use this more on the edge to walk your opponent down to get to the range you want to be and then you can zip your way in. You can also use it the reverse way where first he's throwing and I'm moving my head and then I get to a place where I want to be and then I cover right here. So he throws, boom, I absorb some of the shots and then I can start to go with my counter attack. So you can use it as a way to close distance or once you've closed distance to be safe for a few seconds on the inside and then throw 
after your, your long range opponent counters. All right, now another variation you can use this is in the Philly shell, especially when you're up against the ropes. Instead of always having to actively roll the shoulder and work it, you can tuck that shoulder up tight, have that right hand in that position, cover most of the distance, cover most of the open areas. So let's say Nate is here. This is gonna be very effective for the taller fighter. Still gonna work for the shorter fighter, but you have to be more active with it. Here he is, first of all, I can't get this glove between. And even if I'm trying, he can always slightly parry it with his right hand. So if I'm jabbing, he's in full control right there, okay? Now, again, as he covers, he covers up. He's got this covered, he's got this covered, he's got this covered, he's got this covered. Very minimal movement. The only thing I've really got is here, this right hook to the body, which he can easily make a small move. Or if I'm gonna come over top, he can either angle back. So here, angle back like so. Or if I come over top hard, he dips down. Boom, like here. And then he comes back up, boom. Okay, so working this out of the Philly shell, this is another way that you can stay tight without having to be so active with that shell. You take that shoulder, tuck it high, hand here, and there's very little room. So here Nate's in the shell, okay? He shuts down everything, and then I just work him. Okay, so he blocked most of that stuff with very minimal movement. That's gonna allow you to set up your counters gonna allow you to be in position where you don't have to waste a lot of energy just trying to avoid shots. All right, so positions where you cover maximum room or the maximum openings. Here, hands above the head, palms in. Shut down that middle without covering. Not here either, in between. This isn't gonna be your only defense, but this is gonna be one position that you can cover a lot of openings while you're against the ropes or if you wanna walk somebody down. Same thing out of the Philly shell. You can cover a lot of room if you're working it. Bring that shoulder up, tuck the chin down, hand up. Shut down that middle, and there's only coming around the outside or over top. Mastering this is gonna really add to one element of your defense, really give you much more power and control. Check out Nate Bauer's channel. We got some stuff on squats, a recent video to help you improve your boxing, help you strengthen your legs and work through any potential injuries that you might have. I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description below, so go check that out. Thanks for watching, you guys. Peace.